So I'd like to talk to you guys about the dirty little secret that's going on that I, well, it's, it's a rumor about Walmart and also we're going to talk about the food shortage. So let me start with Walmart first. So Walmart, um, I know some people that work at Walmart and again, this is a rumor, so I'm going to use that magic word, allegedly, but it's from a really reputable source, so I believe it. And what happened um, about a week ago was if you notice it, the uh, the stores are starting to pick back up. So people are like, well, I guess the food shortage didn't happen. And uh, in a way, it doesn't look like it did. But there's still a lot of things out. And you'll notice that the meat department severely picked over. And again, the staples are really hard to find. Um, but what was pretty freaky was um, I had talked to a Walmart worker. And they know the person that actually orders for Walmart. So in other words, they call the... Uh, the centers to send food to their local store. So the way Walmart works is it has your local store and then there's like a regional warehouse and then there's a huge warehouse down in Arkansas where Walmart's based, the main warehouse. So main warehouse sends it to the regionals and then the regionals can reload your local stores pretty quickly. So for the last few weeks these people, the person that, that does the orders told me the regionals have been practically empty. They're almost completely wiped out of of uh, most things and that they are slowing down their shipping because they're getting their stuff directly from Walmart uh, from Arkansas so they're getting there's basically no not much left in the regionals and they're getting direct ship from Walmart and Arkansas the giant warehouses and it's like well how long is that gonna last well that was like a week ago and then a few days ago they tried to order some rice and beans and pasta and we're told that there's no more any, there's no more coming from the big Walmart they have to wait for it to come in from that they were completely sold out so Walmart's chain their supply chain has dwindled down to just their their major store in Arkansas and it's starting to run out of some major stuff and if you notice what they will do is when Walmart starts getting low they will start making deals with companies they don't usually deal with and I have a good example of that. So let me walk you around here and take a look at this. So this is a bag of rice I got at Walmart. I have never seen rice from India from Walmart um, or anything like this ever. And what they're doing is they're kind of panicking and just filling the shelves with whatever they can find. So you're getting all these weird brands that you've never seen in there. So what that does is the um, they're pe they're just filling holes wherever you can and and so you'll see something where it's called uh, there's outs in Walmart so what that means is something's out on the shelf and a normal store I'm told about two to three hundred items are always out and the last count was over fifteen hundred items were out in the store this week so that could just kind of give you an idea of uh, how many uh, warehouse outs there are. So they have warehouse outs and uh, factory outs when the factory stops making it. So right now it's just warehouse outs. So I thought that was, this is a pretty credible source, but again, it's a rumor that the major Walmart has pretty much run out of staples and they're scrambling, trying to fill it with whatever they can find. Uh, hopefully that picks back up, but you know, this is what I was predicting would happen with the ports being closed and all that stuff coming from the Asian countries. And some of the countries like Vietnam just stopped shipping rice, you know, um, that this stuff's not going to come. So what's going to happen now is it's going to feel like everything is getting back to normal for a bit. They need the economy and people to have trust that things will be normal. And frankly, people are so mentally stressed out, they can't handle this new reality and they are going to pretend that everything's normal. So you will see stuff on the shelves. It'll be still picked over and it'll be weird brands you hadn't seen, but they'll, it, they'll have stuff and people will be like, see, there was no food shortage. But what's going to start happening is stuff's just going to disappear and not come back in and disappear. And it's going to, I think it's going to be a big slow wind down. Um, I don't know how bad it's going to get. Maybe when everything opens back up, there's some food that they can ship in and, and keep this limping along. But it has a real potential that if somebody's like, you know, gets out that, hey, this food's not coming back. Um, I think there might be a rush on food again. So 
as for me, I don't trust any of this. I think this is just maybe a month or two of cooling off and, and trying to get people to relax, but the signs that the shortages are still there, the articles are out everywhere saying, you know, you better prepare. And financially, I mean, if you guys hadn't realized, like some of these articles, I'm gonna show you a bunch, and I'm using the lamestream media because some reason people give it more credibility, and we, but we, we both know what the deal is with that. But uh, just the fact that they're talking about it means it's, it's already too late. That, that, that information is everywhere. So we're going to talk about some articles I'll take you through, and, uh, and I'll give you my final thoughts like Jerry Springer. One of my viewers, Jen, sent me this picture of a local grocery store where she's at in North Carolina that is putting manufacturer stickers out. So they're not just out. There's no more coming from the manufacturer. And I assume you're going to start seeing these more. Here in Canada, they aren't forcing the meat factories to stay open. Uh, in the U.S., they forced them open, but the employees are still refusing to go, so that's probably not going anywhere. And this is kind of not food-related, but it shows how many Chinese have lost their job, and, you know, China's not the most accurate at reporting things, but that's a lot. And a warning about the U U.K. economy. They, their economy uh, contracted so much, it's the worst in 300 years. So I think we need to, I'm going to still continue to stock up and take this serious because I think this is just like a little, um, a false sense that people just need to feel good about. And I, if I were you, I would make sure if you have holes in your stockpile to start filling them. Like I was able to get yeast online, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. Like you can go, what's interesting is you can go to walmart.com and buy like the cheap 20 pound ghetto bags of rice on the internet, but you can't find that anywhere in the stores. Or you can find it, um, the yeast, I haven't seen yeast in weeks, but somehow I could get it still online. So you might want to go that route before the prices start going up. And there's already been an increase in some of the prices. Um, eggs have gone up 20% where we are already. I mean, that's fast, 20%. So, you know, be, be aware, just start stocking up. I Hopefully you guys take it serious, but at this point I'm, I'm done yelling about it. I just thought I'd share those rumors with you. Now, also, you guys know that uh, YouTube has, my YouTube living is pretty much over um, for the time being because nobody's advertising on YouTube anymore. And uh, nobody's coming in as patients anymore. So basically, to stay afloat, I'm selling uh, my wood carvings. And you can take a look at those. I have a video, a link to it uh, about my wood carvings if you want to see a tour of those check those out and always Amazon's still paying so if you're gonna buy some gardening supplies or anything like that please use the Amazon link first it, it really helps out the channel all right till then get out there and garden hurry up and you know go plant something